when I say this is the most insane development log that they've ever done, I mean it. Okay, so we've got new attributes and also they are buffing dot effects, which is going to just outright buff mono blue. So we've got some really great stuff to talk about, okay? Um, they also seemingly do confirm Valkyrie Noel's release date. So let's get into it. Um, I was snoozing, okay? I'm not going to lie. I took a pretty good nap, but then I woke up to just seeing some insane stuff, okay? And one big thing um, is that this Ghost, right, is now just god tier, okay? Let's just say that he's literally god tier, okay? So that's insane. Um, we're also going to pull up some leaks at the end. All right, but for now, we're going to get into the official stuff and then go into leaks. So, all right, our development team worked really hard to prepare, but we don't know how much fun the mages will enjoy. It seems like there are both worries and expectations about how the content and improvements we have prepared will be evaluated as a result. We just hope that you enjoy the first anniversary update we have prepared. The reason why I wrote this uh, development log this time is after the first uh, Annie of BCM. We would like to share in advance the release of two new attributes and changes related to dot effects, which are elements that will bring a new wind of change to arena PvP, which is exactly what we needed. As you know, mage attributes and continuous damage effects are very important strategic factors in arena pvp currently pvp in bcm is gradually becoming a core content for middle to high level mages accordingly what are the new attributes and what continuous damage effects will be reflected uh, we would like to share each change in advance before the update so that you can feel ah this was uh, updated with this intention when you actually play so two new types of attributes harmony and chaos i'm calling it light and dark okay no matter what you're not making me say anything else so we're going to, let's see their reasoning for adding this, um, and then I'll give my full thoughts on it, but we won't have our full opinion later, okay? First, the most commonly known basic attributes are the three we already know, and the three attributes have been working in harmony with each other. However, it is also true that as service has been an open operation for nearly a year, the strategic for each the strategies, oh my god, for I just woke up, for each match have become somewhat standardized and have been maintained. Therefore, while... Sorry, that was my alarm if you actually did hear that. Um, oof. Okay, let me turn off the alarms now that I'm actually up. So, um, where was I? Uh, me, okay, so we talked about this. Um, it, it was hard to... Okay, here it is. While maintaining the current three attribute structure, we thought about a new fundamental way to provide a new fun type of unusual deck combinations in the arena PvP environment. Now, why is new colors good? Because it breaks the mono mold, okay? So new colors is probably the easiest way they could have done this. And I'm very happy about it because no matter which, if a unit was like blue and good, you could easily slap them onto mono blue and it would most likely be the best synergy. So that's basically why adding harmony and chaos is not bad. Okay. In my opinion, as of right now, we might see when we get into game, it might be bad. Okay. When the existing attributes, uh, red, blue, and green are defined as three attributes, harmony is designed to be strong in the three attributes. Chaos has weak characteristics. On the contrary, the chaos attribute is designed to be weak against the three attributes, but strong against light. So light is strong against red, blue, and green, but dark is weak against them, but strong against light. So dark right now is going to be a bit weak, but in the future is going to be stronger is what I'm understanding. We expect that it will be able to fulfill the role of a counter deck with the unity attribute. With the addition of two new attributes in addition to existing three attributes, it is expected that more diverse mage deck combinations and strategic management will become important. We hope that new combat patterns in the arena PvP environment will be studied and established in a live environment as well. Now, uh, we can see here that the three colors here are type advantage to dark dark is type advantage to light and light is type advantage to red blue and green now what i think is very unique about how they're going to do it is that a lot of the th like for example grand cross you only see grand cross really get light and dark units as like fest units but i don't think that's going to be the case here okay i really think that they might do seasonals or other units as light or dark because of how they've kind of set it up and saying that they want it to be um, a counter deck also saying where is it um diverse mage deck combinations where one unit isn't going to change that but over the course of a month two months three months we might get a lot of different units that have light and dark attributes a new zora for example or a new raya right imagine if the new raya is a dark unit so i think that could be really sick 
And now it's going to be much more harder to kind of guess what unit's going to be what typing. So I'm very happy. Now, uh, this is where we are going to see when Noel is coming out. Well, I think many mages are curious about when this attribute will be updated. First of all, the new attribute Harmony will be reflected starting from the limited mage Valkyrie Just Noel, which is scheduled to be uh, released in the season 12.2 update during the first anniversary festival period. Now, that is actually going to be on the 14th, okay? Um, 12.2, it's a, since usually they work on two-week schedules, it's either the 14th or the 21st, but uh, Mariel's banner ends the 23rd, but it seems Noel is coming out on the 14th, so she's actually coming out early, which, I mean, is fine by me, okay? It's fine by me. Um, detailed information about the major question will be provided in, a, in, a, in advance through a separate notice at a later date. We will also prepare to share the application timing of the attribute, chaos and mage information in advance with a separate notice as soon as possible. So chaos and mage information either means there's two anniversary units or we're getting like probably, I feel like an Asta would be really fitting for the first dark unit. Either Asta or it's gonna be Raya, right? Um, why Raya? Well, if we go, oh my God, let's just dupl oh, duplicate. Okay, let me just go back down a bit, and then we're going to start getting into dot effects, okay? Which I'm honestly... Oh, the dot effects are insane. But, like, this Raya, right, could easily be a dark, right? So, that's the main thing. So, okay, there's actually... My God, usually there's not this much stuff. Anyway, okay, I read a bit into it, but we're going to check more. And honestly, this is exactly what I needed. So, Witch Queen gets a mini buff. Nozelle gets buffed. Um, a bunch of units actually do get buffed. All right. So, oh my God. Okay, okay, okay. Currently, there are four types of damage effects in uh, dot effects in BCM: burn, shock, poison, bleeding. However, the three stack continuous dot effect is only reflected on shock and burn. Uh, the crimson, the Ling of crimson Kyans. I can't talk. The Lion King of crimson. The uh, bro. Okay, I'm skipping that. Mario. Only the so-called burn meta deck led by Mario is an established and operated in arena PvP, resulting in the fixation of the mage deck, which is only that deck is used in certain sections of the arena. Accordingly, we are taking another look at the existing life continuous damage effects. To clearly assign meaning to each continuous damage effect, various mage decks are operated strategically in PvP. This is a 100 out of 10 update that I could not be more happy about. So what is it? Now, bleed could stack up to three times. Three times. And it's going to be that you could stack three times of taking 5% of max HP. And also, you have two turns when you're at three stacks, you have a two-turn recovery block. So they're adding buffs, or sorry, they're adding debuffs at three stacks. So this is actually very, oh, very important, okay? Recovery blo block is nice with bleed and honestly good. Now, that's not as good, though, as this. So poison now, they're making those out cracked. Outright, outright cracked. The th so now you could stack it three times, poison, but you could, okay, wait, poison. Hold on, let me see. So where does he get poison? He gets poison on the skill one. So the skill one AOE is gonna become much more used. And, oh, oh, Noelle's max dupe just became useful now. Oh, fuck. Oh, man. Oh, man. Okay. Now, uh, reducing mobility by 50% at three dupes is insane. Okay. If you have Noelle's max dupe, you're actually going to be cooking. Let's just say that. You are going to be cooking. All right. And I'm very happy about that, honestly. Um, now, shock at three dupes reduces SP by eight. I mean, bro. <sighs> these two got just insanely buffed. Bleed is pretty decent, but these two, oh my god. So the above changes to Dot will be a pla taking place in the season 13 update. And that's going to be it. I mean, I'm very happy about this. Okay. Now let's get into the other info about the new units that were leaked. So first of all, okay. Let's pull this up. Um, this is going to be 
a new barrier called Sea Dragon Barrier. It's basically going to be like um, Summer Noel, where they're going to have two barriers probably, or just one. Now, Noel's barrier might not be removable, which is going to be how they're going to make it so that you can't use Fuego and just fuck her over. So we'll have to see, but it might be removable, it might not be, but it is a new type of barrier, which means it's a barrier with a buff like Summer Noel, who gave a favorable damage increase while also stacking the barrier. Now, this is Noel's art. Um, it's pretty nice, right? Pretty nice. I mean, this is the um, this is the full art, so or the ultimate art. So, you know, there we go. Now, getting into it, um, we've got... Th what is it? Um, let's see. We got a new Zora, okay? We got a new Zora. So, this might be a seasonal. Sorry, this will be a seasonal, okay? This, you could see his traps, right? You could see his traps. This is a new Zora. Also, it says UI Zora on the top. So we got a new Zora, which is going to be a seasonal. I don't have much to say there. But what is very cool is that there's a new Vanessa. Um, and this Vanessa, I'm going to guess. Hold on. He might be the dark unit. Zora might be the dark unit because it's dark, right? So pink, you know, I'm just guessing. Vanessa getting a new unit. She seems to be an attacker with that, but might be a supporter because of this one. Where I, I can't tell, but this looks like a supporter healer type of thing. Now... You guys are going to be very happy to know that Gray is getting a new unit. Or she might, right? This is, these are leaks, but Gray is seemingly confirmed to get a new unit. Okay. And I mean, yeah, I mean, that's that's pretty good. That is pretty good. Um, does also seem that Valkyrie Noel's skill page has two arts. Um, so I don't know what's up with that. But there's two arts here for the skill page. I don't think this is the skill page art. Well, that's the, I don't know why that's like that, but that's the, ulti, that's the ultimate art. So I don't know why, but this is the skill page, which looks clean as hell. That's for sure. Um, and then finally, finally, a new Fineral. Okay. So we got Fineral, a Grey, a Zora, Vanessa. I don't know why there's another Zora, Vanessa. To be honest, because it's Zora and Vanessa, they might not be new units. It might just be different uh, files they added. But Fineral and Grace should be getting a unit. They might be the next pickups. We'll have to see on that. But yeah, man. I mean, we got that four, those four things. We got a bunch of more stuff. I'll be doing a full update review later. There's so much stuff I need to go over in Global and JP. So I'm just trying to space it out. But those are the four new units uh, that we're going to be getting in the future. Those are the buffs to DOT. So much stuff. So excited. I'll see you guys in the next video. And peace.